G'day guys, welcome back. We're doing a bit of a metallic pour today for you. Uh, and I've used up all my pouring medium that I made up last time, the batch with the flow troll in it, the 10% flow troll. And I'm just going back to my 65% glue, 35% water. So we'll see how that goes today. And I have got uh, 60 grams of pouring medium to 60 grams of paint in the black, the blue and the white. These two metallics, because metallics mix up differently, I've put 50 grams of pouring medium and 75 grams of paint to try and make them thicker. They, this still feels quite thin, but let's see how it goes. I'll put a little, another little blob in there. The gold seems to be much thinner than the, the copper. See how that goes. All right. I'll tell you about the colours in a minute. Right. So uh, for cells, the 100% silicone, uh, treadmill silicone. This one is, but any silicone that you have will work. 100% silicone. And as I said, I've got. Uh, 60 and 6120. These metallics have got a little bit less. I'm going to go for five drops in each, except the black. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, give that a good stirring. Make sure you try and get some of that oil down to the the bottom of the cup as well. It's Saturday today, Saturday after Christmas. Um, well, my videos are probably not up to date because if I do three or four videos in a day and only put one up a day, this video will be down track, in line. So <laughs> for me, it's the 27th. Uh, not the 27th, uh, the Saturday. So my sister's coming up to Paul with me today, which is going to be nice. She lives about two hours south of me, so I don't see her a lot. But uh, she's she came up for Christmas and then she's staying uh, up here on the, the Sunshine Coast. She's going to the Woodford, Woodford Festival. So that's what she's doing. I'm just going to pour these in like so. Get a nice thick amount. Oh, that one can have a little bit more. Yeah, so she's going to come and play. Never painted before, or never poured before I should say. So hopefully she'll enjoy it. I'm not sure what she wants to do. She doesn't really know about the different techniques, so I'll pick something easy for her. Maybe a ring pull or a wandering pull. They turn out quite well, don't they, for newbies? Don't have to worry too much about cells, or the lack of them, and being overstretched. So, relatively easy technique to get right and there's no real right or wrong with ring paws and wondering paws is there you can tilt however you want as long as your mix is relatively thick and uh, you'll get a good result if your mix is too thin then you lose your, your circles and your shapes so no, it needs to be nice and thick right oh that's the last of the black this mix is hopefully going to be nice and thick go away fly I don't know where they get in. There's always a fly in here with me. And they like to sit on my paint. And I just like the smell of the paint. It attracts them and they sit in it and come a kamikaze. I'm a dead fly in the morning with a lovely little track through it. So I've got these big nets that I do cover my paws with. If I love, love, love a paw, I'll, I'll cover it straight away. If it's just, eh, a little practice one like this. It'll just go on the shelf below my table and hope for the best. I can't cover everything. I don't have enough room to cover all my paws because they take about five days to dry. But 
say, yeah, food nets, great. So if you've got cats that like to jump up and sit on your paintings too, um, maybe the food nets are a way to go. of that. I didn't want the gold next to the blue because yellow and blue make green so I have separated it with the white. I don't know whether it'll make any difference. I'll probably get some green in here anyway once the colours are all flipped over and start mingling with each other. I might get a bit of green but that's okay. All right. Now, I've poured down this side, so they're all, the paint's on that side. I wonder if what will happen if I put one that way and one that way and then flip, just so that they're different. I don't know if it'll make any difference at all. We'll see. I did spray my cups with um, some silicone spray, so hopefully they won't take too long for all that paint to go down there it's releasing already so metallic gold metallic copper black the new bottles someone pointed out to me the new jars from global tell you down here if the paint is opaque or semi-transparent black semi-transparent that's unusual isn't it you wouldn't think that of a black but the old jars don't have that. This is one of my older jars. It's got four squares there, but it doesn't have the fifth that says whether it's opaque or not. So, but yeah, the, the new jars are coming in with that. So black and white, and then I've got cool blue just for a pop of some color. So, and I don't mind if I get some light blue, some dark blue, I've got the, the white in there. So hopefully I'll get a couple of shades. Of different colors so you can see the paints all released now so now the bottom's nice and clean so let's just flip that over I found if I bring it to the end I get a better result I don't get that blobby bit at the bottom turn this over or around I should say That wasn't as good. I've got a bit of a, a drip there, but still, it's all right. A lot of blue in that one. Pretty. So, a tiny bit of paint left in the cups, but I don't really want to use that. I'm going to see if I can stretch it out, stretch these out. Okay. Torching time. Where's my torch? There you are. Funny how you can have the same colours in the same order in your cup, and then when you tip them out, you get different. I wonder if that's because I turned one cup that way and then one cup that way. And also, when I flip different ways, I get different colours. It's just bizarre. I like it though, I like having two different sections. Whoops, got a bit close there. See, there's my caterpillar. Not too close. Just give that a minute because those tiny little cells that have come up will, will grow. Now I'm not expecting my metallic cells to be brilliant because metallics work differently. You've heard me say that a thousand times. Metallics are thinner when you mix them up. They don't tend to hold their cell shape. They go a little bit hazy and wobbly on the outside. They're just a different creature and they just don't work the same. Oh, look at that huge caterpillar. I'm going to have to leave that there. don't know why I got that. I haven't been getting caterpillars recently. I said that in one of my videos. Oh, it's been ages since I got a caterpillar. But um, I did get too close there. It tends to be... I think that's what does it when I get too close. I need to have a wider 
sort of a slow heat traveling down rather than getting too close. When I get too close, that's when I get my caterpillars. Just going up the top here in this dark section. See if there's anything there. Some gold popping up through this black. It's kind of making it look a little bit brown, isn't it? The gold and the black together. It certainly doesn't look black black. It looks more of a, a brownish colour. So that's a stripe of gold cells that are popping up there. Got some really tiny little copper ones through here, but nothing much in there. But that's okay. I'll, I'll leave that. I'm really liking these blue ones. Now, which way am I going to go first? I need to keep some of this paint on the surface. Um, which way will I go? It's always hard to know which way to go. First. I've got, Lee, I've got this, this is quite a large area here, so let's do this one first. I'm going to end up with this huge triangle in the middle. And you never know how to get that triangle, hey? Maybe I should be filling these in with like a black or something like that before I start tilting because I always have trouble with those. It's got to be a way, doesn't there? Off to that corner. And then down, there we go, that's got it, sort of. Clean that off. All right, let's turn you around. Let's see what you're gonna do. Really like this one, actually. The blue against that sort of brownish, goldish color. That's pretty, isn't it? Now, where next, where next? I think I am going to start making up some black and like filling these in. Might try that on my next pull. Because when you do two circles like this, you do end up with a big blank area. See, now I've got these two that are a problem. And the top's starting to stretch. What to do, what to do. See, this is why I tend to put black on my corners and then I don't have to worry about it, but I didn't today. So I need to cover them. All right, I'm going to Pop my hand underneath in the middle over here and let the paint just go off in those two directions. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this one first. All right, maybe they're both together. So that left, my left, your right's done. do that will do it's just about covered and just put a tiny little bit of paint on there like that you wouldn't even know all right let's check the composition straighten it up clean underneath making a mess I'm actually really liking this, this gold with the blue. It's 
unusual. Okay. I'm not liking that up there. Big hazy blob. Yes, you are a big hazy blob. All right, there's probably not much more I can do with this little painting. Um, yeah, it doesn't really look very metallic. It's kind of the blues taken over. Hey, I thought I'd get a lot more black with the metallics popping, but um, yeah, more blue. So it's interesting. Got a big band of blue there, black through here. These are pretty. Look at these ones. They've got gold, then copper, and then a blue center. So they're really pretty. But uh, yeah, it's not, not a beautiful pour by any means. See how these cells are kind of a bit hazy? Then they, they don't have a, a definite ring around them. Now that could be the metallics that are doing that. So there we go. I'll take you in for a close up and um, see what you think. I'll turn it around because this is my favorite section up here. And then I've got to go and jump in the shower and get cleaned up. My sister will be here in half an hour and I'm not even ready. I think, oh, I'll just go and do a quick pour. And then two hours later, I'm still in here. Whoops. It's nine o'clock in the morning. She's be here at 9.30, so I need to go and get a riddle on. Oops, wrong way. So there you go. Not loving it, but um, some people might like it. So I wanted to show you what the metallics do. I personally don't really like using metallics. I try not to. I know other people use them with a lot of success. Um, but yeah, just not loving this one. But that's okay. We can't love them all, can we? So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.